Hello, very warm welcome. It is a special week as it is race week, but I want to talk about the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. Now, F1, of course, they've got to do what they've got to do. Last week, a lot of pictures, photos promoting the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Um, and when I saw this, I was absolutely furious because, yet again, it's another street circuit which will be off the calendar come five years. And for me, we're losing a lot of history and DNA of Formula One. You look at the likes of Germany, Malaysia, tracks that have history, and we just replace them with bang average circuits. Now, Saudi Arabia could be a good circuit. We don't know because we've not been there. It's going to be one of the fastest street circuits. But yeah, I held off doing a reaction because for me, I mean, you just look at the history. India, Korea, uh, these were good tracks straight off the calendar. Didn't last. Um, then you look at all the new circuits. All the new circuits are bang average. They really are bang average. I mean, Abu Dhabi, bang average. Russia, awful. They're two races I get rid of straight away. Then you, we go back to Paul Ricard, which is terrible. Um, just these modern day circuits. Bahrain is a success. Um, that's got history in Formula One now. But yeah, when you look, there's no German race on the calendar. Uh, there's no Malaysia. There's no uh, Turkey, which was probably the best race last year. We've got to keep the likes of Spa, Japan, Silverstone, like Brazil, tracks like this. Um, so much history, Monaco, Monza. But yeah, we go to these new circuits. They're not great, are they? Mexico, I actually like Mexico. I just wish, wish the last sector was better. But yeah, I don't know me. It's Saudi Arabia. And for me, we should not be going to Saudi Arabia. For those who don't know, during the Formula E weekend, there was a missile attack. So for me, we should not be going to Saudi Arabia. Not purely on safety grounds. Formula One are happy to go to Saudi Arabia because of the money, the dough. You see a lot of events happening in Saudi Arabia. E.g. Um, Anthony Joshua Ruiz was in Saudi Arabia, was it not? Pretty sure it was. Um, yeah, it's for the money. The money. The money. But yeah, you cannot replace history. They they like bring in these really poor tracks. I mean, look, we were meant to be going to Vietnam. Another street circuit that is terrible. I just don't see how that would be a success. And then we go into Saudi Arabia. Yes, it's going to be very quick. But it's just another street circuit. I mean, look how many street circuits we've got now. A lot. Australia, you can count as a street circuit. Monaco, Canada, you could count as a street circuit. Hungary, so many street circuits. Singapore, it's like madness. Like three, three, thir like a third of the calendar is street circuits. We were meant to go to Hanoi, that got cancelled. We're going to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia could be a success. Baku's another one. Saudi Arabia could be a success. But I'm absolutely staggered what they think at the top. Like, not to have a German Grand Prix and a load of, like, street circuits is criminal. Like, I'd much, 100% much rather have a Germany a Malaysia, a Turkey. Uh, I don't know. We see what happens. But for me, we should not be going to Saudi Arabia. One, safety grounds. It's massive. You're risking the mechanics, the drivers, the team, uh, the media, the medical team. It's a huge risk. Given what happened in Formula E, I would not feel safe going to Saudi Arabia. And then you get to this track. Is it going to be a success? Or is it going to be like a Korea and India? Straight off the calendar, straight away. Circuit of the Americas. That's another thing 
quite new circuit. And I, I despise that track. A lot of people like Circuit of the Americas. Not for me. Um, but yeah, comment down below. I mean, I did hold off doing a video about Saudi Arabia because as soon as I saw that... I mean, we already know we're going to Saudi Arabia, but the way they're like promoting it, it's like... I was angry about it because you lose historic tracks like Hockenheim, Nürburgring, Turkey, Malaysia, and we replace them with bang average street circuits. Um, I mean, the way we're going, we're going to have like t almost 10 races, street circuits. It's crazy. It's like that's the route they want to go down. Oh, we'll just have a load of street circuits on the calendar. Comment down below. I would love to know your thoughts. We see what happens, but for me, I wouldn't be going to Saudi Arabia on safety grounds. As for the track, we wait and see, but we did see an onboard of the track, and it looks extremely quick. But how many more street circuits they're going to add? I mean, Vietnam, I mean, Zanfort as well. Zanfort's... Uh, it's interesting the way the calendar is going. We bring back historic tracks, but then there's too many like street circuits going there purely for financial reasons. Nothing to do. And these tracks will never have the history of uh, Germany and Malaysia. They just won't. And like I say, don't be surprised if it's off the calendar within a couple of years because... They don't have the history. They don't have the passion. It'll be poor attendance, no doubt. Um, yeah, they're my thoughts. I held off doing a video because I was angry about it. Offer me a historic race, like a historic track any day of the week. I'll take it over these new venues. I'm happy to go to new venues, but yeah, we need um, we need quality. Quality tracks, uh, good racing circuits. You go through the calendar, we've got some good tracks, then we've got some bang average tracks. I mean, you could name five straight away that for me would go straight off the calendar. Paul Ricard, Abu Dhabi, uh, USA. Now, France, USA should have a race, but not in the venues currently. Yeah, I get rid of Abu Dhabi. I get rid of the uh, USA, France. Trying to think what other side to get rid of. Um, they're the three main ones I get rid of. Abu Dhabi, Paul Ricard. Abu Dhabi, Paul Ricard. Oh, I've had a brain freeze. Abu Dhabi, Paul Ricard. And um, what was the other one? Abu Dhabi, Paul Ricard. I got distracted then. Um, Abu Dhabi, Paul Ricard. I, I've, I've had a brain freeze. My brain's just gone, gone completely. Um, <laughs> how the fuck can I forget? I literally just said it like 10 seconds ago. Ah, oh, Russia, Russia. Russia, Abu Dhabi, Paul Ricard. Yeah, and then you've got some questionable circuits. But they're the three main ones that need to go. And probably these street circuits like Saudi Arabia. It's... Go in there purely for financial reasons. Comment down below. Would love to know your thoughts as F1 will go to Saudi Arabia for the 22nd race of the season. And in December. Wow.